Okay, it's time to discuss Man United's transfer window. We've got Ray Paul, we've got Andy Brassel, and we've got Dalson from Street Fighter. Uh, that's on the go. <laughs> we've got some full time devils, of course, our expert on all things Man United. And so we'll start with you, Sam. Um, are you look, are you happy? The dust all settled. It's been a massive window for United. At the start of the window, there were obvious issues to address: midfield, defence, and maybe we haven't addressed all those issues. <laughs> maybe. I mean, it's possible you could argue that, but it's been a brilliant window. Um, I mean, Ed Woodward's job is to sign players, and a lot of the time, and he's definitely done. Yeah, that. he has gone out and he's done it. Yeah, and I'm really excited about what we're going to be doing for the rest of this season and more excited about next season because I think it'll take a long time for this team to, one, understand Van Hal's philosophy, which it turns out is play one, nine. Yes. <laughs> and yes. once they've got that in their heads and we're actually playing the football he wants us to play, I think the team will be exceptional. But it's going to take, like the game against Burnley, not a lot happened and it was terrible to watch because there was so much passing between like the back two yeah. because they haven't quite got the confidence yet to push it forward into the midfield. And yeah. It's going to take time for this to work, but when it does, especially with some of these players, I think it's going to be brilliant. Yeah, fantastic. Andy, a net spend of around £122 million. Pounds. I mean, is that was it entirely necessary for United to spend those sums of money? They don't seem to have got as much for it as they should have. Um, but I think what's important um, with the last couple of weeks of the window, and we, we touched on it, uh, when we're talking on, on, on deadline day, is that finally Van Hal's getting the sort of players that he wants, that are specific to what he has in mind. Rojo, uh, Di Maria, Blint, these are key players who can play two or three different positions. And when Sam was talking about having the confidence to bring it out of defence, that's where Rojo's going to come in. Yeah. That, 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 that's a big deal. The fact that um, while Shaw's getting fin fit, uh, Blint can locum at a left wing back, he'll be great there. Then he's the midfield holder, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden they've got a base to do things, and that, that helps Herrera out. And Di Maria, I think, is the logical part of that midfield three. People talk about him as a sort of right winger. That, that's yesterday's news. If, if we're going to get United to really flow, yeah. he needs to be in the midfield three where he was so good for Real Madrid last season. Absolutely. Ray, I mean, there's some of the names Man United have brought in, mm. to be fair. I mean, some people are going to be casting jealous glances there. You know, just look at like Falcao, Di yeah. Maria. These are some of the top names in world football, and they're at Man United. Simple. It's certainly exciting for times, I think, for Manchester United. I mean, you know, they're going to go through that period where Van Hal's come in. He's got to get his point across, his, his system across, and he's trying to play for it in the back. But certainly, the players he's, he's gone out and it, Woodward has definitely stuck by the manager and said, "Look, we have to go and buy big." No one's going to worry about how much they pay. You know, they, they click straight away. Di Maria, people like that. They ain't going to worry that it's cost £60 million. Mm -hmm. It's all about results. It's all about getting the right formation, the, the right blend of football again for Manchester United. Because I remember when I played, playing against top, top class, yeah. Manchester United sides. And certainly the players he's bought in are, are, are going to make their side a lot better. Well, it's the fear factor, isn't it, of having that, top, that level of top quality player to, to, to come up against. David Moyes must be raging, though. Yeah, he must be so upset. <laughs> <laughs> like he had the backing of Fellaini. Yes. That was it. And then, I mean, I love Matter. I think he's amazing. But at the time we bought him, he wasn't necessarily a player that was going to fix the issues at the mm. club. Will he mm -hmm. play now, Matter? Do you know what? I had this discussion yesterday. Is that if you look at the attacking players in the squad, in my opinion, and this isn't to have a go at anybody, I would say that the weakest one is Wayne Rooney. And he's now captain. So Old? we'll play. Yeah. I, I think that Di Maria, uh, Di Maria, Amata is a better attacking midfielder than Wayne Rooney. Okay. Falcao and Van Persie are better goal scorers. Yeah. So, and why make him a central midfielder when there are central midfielders in the world just for the sake of it? Yeah. Well, no, it's not to say that Rooney's a bad footballer, obviously. Well, but. it's an interesting one, Man United fans. Do let us know in the comments below what you what you thought on Wayne Rooney. It's a it's a bold statement. We're talking about the guy who was up until yesterday the top earner. Yeah, he's the he's the he's England's captain now and, and everything. So it's but, not to say he shouldn't be there. But he's but, the weakest link in the well, in the attack. But well, not necessarily the weakest link. But I think if you were going to pick players specifically on what they offer at, on their best day, would you say he's a better goal scorer than Van Persie or Falcao? Probably not. Do you, and there's an argument for whether or not he's a better creative player than Mata. Personally, I prefer Mata, but that's just my opinion. Van Howell will pick Rooney because mm -hmm. he's captain and probably thinks he's a better player. But I think the fact that there's debate around it, it's, yeah. it's great for Manchester United that we have this conundrum. Yeah. But it's, there's a part of me that sort of thinks, why have you made him captain straight away with these players coming in? Give it a second because it might be that he doesn't start every game. Yeah. 
No, it's a, it's a very interesting one. Like I say, Man United fans, do let us know in the comments. If you want to get more from Sam, do go over and check out Full Time Devil's YouTube channel as well. Uh, and of course, don't forget to click subscribe on the Ball Street YouTube channel because, of course, we've got great content like this every single week.